Hey guys, it's me, and it is May 3rd. I have just got off of work, and so, with it being the 1st of May, or the 3rd of May that I just said that I didn't know what day it was until just now, we have some more Humble Games. Alright, so the Humble Choice for May seems to be some interesting games. Let's start off, Planet Zoo. Uh, I have known about this game for a little while, but I've only played it on Xbox. Um, it is your basic, you know, a uh, sim game for a zoo. Um, though the actual stuff, um, images in it are really, really well done. Um, I actually loved the version that I played on the Xbox for a little bit. I got it for my daughters so we could all, you know, kind of build the zoo together. And I really kind of liked this one more than the Jurassic Park one that came out. Because um, they were really, really good. So, this might be something that you may be into. If you've played any like the Sim games, like Sim Earth and the Hospital and Roller Coaster Tycoon and stuff like that, it's a really cool tycoon game. But, let's go ahead and read what it says. Build a world for wildlife in Planet Zoo. From the developers of Planet Coaster and Zoo Tycoon comes the ultimate zoo sim, featuring authentic living animals who think, feel, and explore the world you create around them. Experience a globe-trotting campaign or let your imagination run wild in the freedom of sandbox mode. Create unique habitat habitats and vast landscapes. Make big decisions and meaningful choices and nurture your animals as you construct and manage the world's wildest zoos. So yeah, if you like the Sim games, this is really a really, really awesome game. Sandbox mode is really cool. And it pretty much you can do like any sort of um, terrarium idea, you know, like basically whatever... E I don't know the word that I'm trying to use. Elemental affinity for animals, I guess. Um, you can do it. Yeah. I never said I was that smart. Or that I'm being paid, so. <laughs> Next up we have SpongeBob. Square pants battle for bikini bottom rehydrated. Interesting. The, the, the terrible thing about this is that this is something that my ex-girlfriend wanted to play, like, really, really, really bad. And it brings back horrible memories. Short, good memories. I don't know which to sort them into anymore, but hey, here we are. Um, <clears throat> but I think my kids will definitely like to play this one, and it might be really interesting. Um, this is a... Um, I wouldn't call it a remake... But it's, you know, as it says, rehydrated. They redid it for PC and everything else. So, yeah, it's a, it's a remade. It says, are you ready, kids? The cult classic is back. Faithfully remade in sponge-tastic splendor. Play, play as SpongeBob, Patrick, and Sandy, and show the evil plankton that crime pays even less than Mr. Krabs. Want to save Bikini Body from lots of rampant robots with your mighty bubbles? Of course you do. Want to underpants bungee jump? Why wouldn't you? Want to join forces, forces to brand new multiplayer mode? The battle is on. So yeah, you, 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 it's basically kind of like a action adventure, you know, using three different main characters. I was already an adult when SpongeBob came out, um, even though the guy who created it is actually from the town that I've, I've lived in for a long time. Um, and may he rest in peace, because he did pass. Next up, we've got Command & Conquer Remastered Collection. Um, the sad part is, I remember when this game came out. Yeah? Like, the original Command & Conquer game, I remember when that came out. And so that should date me, um, for all you old people out there who were also... You know, in on this. This is like one of the real first RTSs to come out. <clears throat> um, you know? So let's see. Command & Conquer and Red Alert defined the RTS genre 25 years ago and are now fully remastered in 4K by the former Westwood Studios team members at Petroglyph Games. That's cool. 
includes all three expansion packs, rebuilt multiplayer, and modernized UI, map editor, bonus gallery of unreleased FMV footage, and over seven hours of legendary remastered music by Frank Klepacki. I guess that's how you say that. Welcome back, Commander. So yeah, they, it, they use a lot of um, full motion video for these games um, as their cutscenes. Like they were just all just like people, you know, there, which was really kind of cool um, for a game like this. Um, I might I might play it for the nostalgia hash. The graphics do look really nicely sharpened from what they used to be. Um, I don't know what the advanced UI would be, but really stellar RTS game back in the day. Really, really good. Spellcaster University. I have seen this on my Steam feed. Um, I have not picked it up yet. So now I don't have to. Or I'll already get it, you know, whatever. Um, in Spellcaster University, take on the role of Director of Magic University in a colorful world of heroic fantasy. Build your school, manage your budget, recruit teachers. Will you turn it into a black magic academy with the best professors of necromancy and demonology? Or a place in harmony with nature to train druids and shamans? Or why not train adventurous mages, offering them options to learn how to fight and be stealthy? But this will require surviving the ruthless attacks of the orc tribes and the controls of the education authorities. So basically, it's a um, it's a sim, it's a school sim, but this one is of magic. So you have different types of things that you can teach, and everything else. The graphics are kind of interesting to me, um, but I like it. It might be something that I would play. You know, if I can find time. But it's really cool. I, I like the uh, the zoomed out cast, uh, like school mode. You know, and then you can kind of zoom in and zoom out to whichever rooms are doing whatever. Which is really nice. Next up we have Surviving the Aftermath. I think I, I already have this game. Um, <clears throat> and I have actually done a play uh, a, uh, an hour review of this um, and it's not bad it really is not bad specifically with the last update it was really good I was hoping this might be the uh, the third person shooter because that that looked really interesting they made a third person shooter based on this um, which looks really cool I mean this game's good as it as, as itself a post-apocalyptic sim game so some things are really interesting um, I really like the idea of the choice system in this. Um, <clears throat> it was really fun to go through and have different things happen depending upon the choices that you make. So, if you like sim games, um, you can look in my um, uh, Try It Before You Buy It series. Check it out before you buy it, and you should see the hour-long playthrough that I have that goes through the tutorial. Um, see if you like that. Next up, we have If Found. Um, okay, so If Found is a game about searching for connection. On December 31st, 1993, in the crumbling ruins of a mansion on Akil Island, Kaiso destroys her diary. It tells the story of her return home to the west of Ireland, her conflict with her family, and the friends she makes and challenges she goes through. Everything leads to this night when a black hole will destroy the entire world. Where did it come from? Is there any way to stop it? With brand new gameplay mechanics, beautiful hand-drawn art, and a stunning soundtrack, players will relive Kaiso's experience and see the moments both happy and painful that make up the month of December 1993. I was 12 years old. Or 11. Or one of those. But yeah, it's basically a narrative game, it looks like, to go through some really kind of heavy stuff. Um, the graphics seem really interesting. Um, but it is your basic story gameplay. Next up, we have Genesis Noir, a cosmic adventure. A noir adventure spanning time and space. 
Um, so I guess these are the three people that you play as. Miss Mass. A jazz singer. She attracts all who come close. That's a pun on mass. Um, no Man. A watch peddler stuck in indeterministic eternity. Okay. Golden Boy. A vain musician who loves to create and destroy. The art style is really interesting. I really like that. I really do. You play as No Man, a watch peddler caught in a love triangle with other cosmic beings. Miss Mass and Golden Boy. When your affair turns into a bitter confrontation, you will witness a gunshot fired by a jealous god, otherwise known as the Big Bang. Jump into the expanding universe and search for a way to prevent or destroy creation and save your love. A non-traditional point-and-click adventure. With a focus on tactile puzzles and exploration, you'll experiment with objects in small slivers of the universe to discover how they can be manipulated to progress your journey. Dial a rotary phone, destroy a civilization, plant a garden, improvise with a musician, create life. All in your search for a way to save Miss Mass. Jump into the expanding universe. The Big Bang isn't just the birth of creation as we know it. It's also a gun blast frozen in time with the bullet speeding towards the love of your life. You'll jump into pockets of time, explore moments throughout the lifespan of the universe, and search for a way to change the course of destiny. Witness the birth and history of mankind. You'll observe moments in history of the universe from the first microseconds of life to trillions of years in the future. What will you learn about these new creations in your search to destroy them? That's interesting. Uh, Ember by Curve Digital. It is on Xbox and Switch, PlayStation 4, and Stadia. This looks like a, another... Um, like party game team up with friends to become the most uber firefighters money can buy rush into burning buildings filled with dangerous hazards valuables and top-of-the-line security systems fight fires save lives salvage goods and move make bleh, and make life-changing money buy high-tech tools and advanced upgrades and fresh outfits that unlock new ways to play but yeah, teamwork makes the dream work. There's plenty of fire to go around, play by yourself, or join a response crew of up to four players online with dynamic difficulty that adapts to the size of your team. And I am getting a phone call from you, Carl? Hold up. That was a wrong number. Oh well. So it seems rather interesting. Um... I don't know. I would need more friends. And back we are to Planet Zoo. Um, let's see. So they we do still have exclusive access to Humble Games Collection. This is the new one that's Into the Pit um, that they added just recently. And the... Uh, <sighs> charity. Charity. That's the word. Charity. Yes. I'm tired. Okay. Is the Global Food Banking Network. So, 5% of your Humble Choice membership is donated to our featured charity of the month, the Global Food Banking Network, which is this month. So there you go. Um, I have been active uh, for 12 months, so I get a 20% store discount. There you go, guys. Those are your games for the month of May. Um... Tell me what you'll play. I think I'm probably going to play Spellcaster University, Genesis Noir, and If Found um, right off the cuff, honestly. Um, I already have this one, so I might just give this away. Uh, Planet Zoo I've already played before, and I'm not a big SpongeBob fan, but I know my kids will. Tell me what you're going to play. Let me know in the comments. Tell me if you'd like to see something instead. So you know what? Until next time, guys. Try to be kind to each other. I'm doing my best.